Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of 16 match, uh, not quarterfinals, <laughs> round of 16 match we've got Kill Bill Volume 2 with his humans and a wizard and an extra apple and a babe up against Hancock with his Chaos Dwarves and a very nice Chaos Dwarf team and in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude, hello! Howdy. Mm. Very interesting match we have here, well... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of right. Three, three claw palm, no claw mighty, and two claw palm. Almost the perfect amount. You really want four to get a perfect amount. Mm. Two is pretty good for chores. At least one LOS it in a blitz on a target. And horns is an interesting choice yeah. on chores on a double. I don't think I would take that over dauntless, but I would have taken a jump up. Hmm. I like jump. Dodge would also be fine, honestly, for the guards' energies. But yeah, jump up, um, dauntless, pro, stand firm. Oh, it didn't all pile seem on. better than. Yeah, well, yeah. well, he does have jump up, Jim. Of course, he didn't pile on. Yeah, Hancock doesn't. He likes to try and play intelligently, and uh, you know, as somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Famed for his lack of intelligence, <laughs> I think it's it's overrated. Honestly, I think you just have to you just have to pile on. The odds are just in your favor too much. Like, like pile on his peak brain. It kind of is right. The odds are just so much in your favor that, like, in a way, you kind of think yourself in a circle by trying to, like, you know, like it's just it's just really good. Now, now okay, there is, I mean, there is a dirty player there, and he'd be pretty exposed. But he'd be a little exposed, but he could have covered up with if you do the pylon you cover up with the bull centaur, right? You can cover it up a bit more or flexibly to the pylon so the position wouldn't look quite the same. Mm. Pylon is peak brain. Hello Eliod, by the way. <laughs> I love Eliodisms in chat. <laughs> like like when he just came in the other day and went strip. <laughs> I enjoy Eliod's further descent and becoming Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a descent? That's surely an ascent. Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't misspeak. You can take that, but you can take that however you want. <laughs> he's picked. He's picked up the ball instantly. That that uh, that misfield by Hancock. Is, uh, he doesn't have a dedicated ball carrier, does he, Hancock? No. Also, ball feels weak because strength pulls him towards, but. Mm. Yeah. You, well, so he sorry, Hancock did have a how to ball carry, but it was missed next game, so that's why he's mm. uh, that's why he's got no ball carry at all now. Yeah, yeah look, no numbers, it really is. That's exactly what it is, yes! <laughs> yes! That's actually what it is. Oh brilliant. Somebody needs to make that. Holy moly. Oh man, please somebody make that. <laughs> Making some blocks and now the big the big blitz. Makes the first one. I'll do them one at a time in case he doesn't just leaves him with the ball and lets him score. <laughs> Why not go back here? That's weird, isn't it? I I would have wanted cover from the uh, you know, put it nearer the um put it nearer the blitzer. Hmm. I guess this puts it more like in range of scoring next turn. I guess that's what he was thinking, right? One, two, three, four, five. If there's another midfield, midfield or wizard, he can just score. Maybe he's going to wizard next turn. The dodge foul. He's not going to. He's not going to wizard. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Wow, huge apple work though. Flip me. <laughs> you know, if uh, only he sneaky get that would be a value foul. Instead, he just had dirty player against the best player on the other team. <laughs> and then, and then, Kill Bill's turn instantly ends with a one in eighty-one. <laughs> wow. I mean, this half is over, Mad Skills. Yep, this half is over. The game isn't over, but like. Hancock should have blitzed with Clawpom, right? 
He's having a claw bomber still. Mm, I should have blitzed with him. I should have blitzed with him. Uh, probably. Like, honestly, like, uh, there's a bit of memeing, but there is also, like, it is, like, you know, it's the most powerful thing in the game. Like, you have to, you have to blitz with it. You know, e every attrition blitz should be with Claw Pump. You should think about not making positional blitzes <laughs> to make attrition blitzes with Claw Pump. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should be blitzing that uh, back blitzer with the Claw Pump and having the ball sink up in front of the cage instead. That's mm. what you should be doing there. Like he's. Um. He's not blitzing this turn. Oh no, he's he's blitzing to get a 3D with horns. Oh, that's a mistake. That was a mistake mm. by Hancock. I mean, that's an absolute mistake, yeah. right? Because that would have been yeah. that would have made it a 3D. Popping the blitz there. If you piled on, you wouldn't be stunned. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Like that's a stupid thing that it's safer to pile on, right? Obviously not. Yeah. What would be interesting would be to have sneaky player, a uh, sneaky player, <laughs> sneaky git and dirty player around the same oh, time as pile on, right? Because then it would actually yeah. be, you know, in the guard assists, then mm. then like piling on would be a lot more dodgy, wouldn't it? Yeah, man, yeah. Kill Bill not having the best dice so far. No, but the sequence isn't totally in shambles because the chores are still kind of all over the field. That's amazing. Thank you very much, Look No Numbers. Oh, wow. The apple works, though, so that's both apples gone for Kill Bill. They both work, and they've both been on good players, though, I suppose, so it's been paid out. Mm. Ball is maybe pointlessly exposed here on the splits. Yep. Just utterly pointlessly. Yeah. Because you can just make the cage first. Yeah. I don't think the blockers will really impact where that cage goes. No. To, you can just have the, um, yeah, the dwarf can just be the same spot and the ball just will just look the end. <laughs> oh my god, that meme is brilliant. <laughs> Always pile on. <laughs> But yeah, this has been a brutal half, hasn't it? Like, it's funny because obviously it started off like amazingly badly for Hancock and amazingly well for Kill Bill, and then it's just <laughs> it's just descended into horrendousness for Kill Bill. He's getting a million stuns mm. to his credit, but the defense still feels quite solid. He also still has a wizard, but he doesn't have the players to recover, so. No. Yeah. No, this is just maximize your curl palm. Pile on. Pile on. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always thought something like that would be good game of vision. Like, just as basic as uh, only big guys can take pile on would be. <laughs> you know, at least it would make big guys good. Make big guys great again. But, uh, well, it used to be like you'd add strength to the pile on or whatever nonsense it was, right? So, it was, yeah. 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 But, um, obviously, big guys are great again by Morg being the best player in the game now. So, so that's I feel nice. like maybe Purple Chest would love about how much space is being taken here, but I feel like it might have been a bit, a bit too much. Yeah, it could have been, it could have been one behind, like one, one back would have been fine. Yeah. Should have rolled better there. Should have had sneaky good. But yeah, it was just a one. It was a no assist foul, wasn't it? It was a bit of a speculative, hopeful foul. Oh, no, one assist. Foul. Assist, one I assist. think. Yeah, one assist. Yeah. I just saw all the skills of the chorf and allocated them to the lineman above him, <laughs> rather than you know the skills of this one. Honestly, I feel like if you just removed the loner from big guys or made loner less terrible, it would be enough to make them feasible. Like, the nega traits are already punishing enough. Yep. Yeah, big guys are like so bad. 
liked them. I'd like them to not be terrible. Yeah, but Maybe also they're they but also so Ducky, they're a gain to jump up Pommer, right? So like by by if you don't break A V, he's jump up pomming you. So like it's uh, he won a bigger foul, right? Maybe maybe bring this whole cage back so you've got two more assists for the foul, right? Something like that. Maybe that should have been the whole plan of the turn, right? To, to engineer a bigger foul. Big guys don't okay. need a buff. Well, I disagree. <laughs> I don't think you should be shit. I don't think you should be playing the most TV for the worst player on your team. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that you don't want them to be just high reward players. They are, I think, mega trades. You don't need to be mega trade, and half the time when you screw up, they don't screw up. They screw up, you can't reroll it. Like, you don't need both of those on the player. Mm. Um, like vampires have the worst mega trade. They also don't. They don't also need order. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Now he's running away. Yeah, he's moving up a bit too much. The previous turn he had to move back, so now he has to move all the way up again this turn. Though, at this point, it's probably fine. So now he's moving up with the whole team. Yeah. Might do another foul, but then it's not versus a Pommer. And is the Pommer the only way Kill Bill can get back into this game? Well, no, the catcher. And there's he, no duration on the foul, him. so the value is much, much, much less less. Fairy player is so impactful on fouls because of the um, 2d6 and how that impacts the dice distribution. Mm. Probably Game of Vision because they didn't want like a stop, like they didn't want to think of the bloodlust skill, <laughs> right? And then they didn't want to have like a a, a patch skill. Uh, like they didn't. Well, vampires weren't. Vampires aren't a team yet, are they? Right? Vampires are a team of legend, so they don't want to have like a, a skill that no one has in the rulebook, right? Yeah. So it's like that doesn't make any sense to have like bloodlust be a skill in the rulebook when the team doesn't exist. So far better just give the team for now um, with like a, a patch skill and then and then bring out bloodlust when they bring out vampires as an actual. Yeah. And vampires have been a team that needed a touch of a redesign besides them. Ogres, Amazons are probably all on the top of a lot of teams people's lists for teams that needed to get rebuilt because they're not very good. And they tried with Amazons and it's not good, but hey, mm. it's different. It's not 11 players at 6337 anymore. So. Mm. A vamp star player would be terrible, though, because a vampire star player would then have to feed on thralls, which aren't on undead or necromantic teams, which you'd also be built a player for, so it would just be a terrible idea to have a bloodlust star player. I, I actually wouldn't... I wouldn't mind vampires going away from bloodlust and getting some other mega trait, but... Well, yeah, whatever partly, it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'll that's partly through, like, the paradigm of Blood Bowl 2, where... You would like to be able to put vampires on a mixed team. That seems interesting, but, but you can't. Mm. They're literally unplayable on any team other than vampires. They mm. only work in that context. Mm. No, I mean, I don't know if anyone said that earlier, but the point is, like, they're gimped as in they don't have a skill, right? Like, they just... They haven't thought about them, and they haven't, like... They're gimped as a, as a choice because they're, like, they just let's just patch them with whatever they've got rather than actually think about it, which I, I think is probably fair, right, seeing as they're not, they're not actually putting them in. Oh, wow, a riot. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's you horrendous pick. for Hancock. It's pretty bad. Chores aren't the most unresponsive, but he's got a bunch of chores all on one side, so the humans are definitely going to get up the field and have a score in the mm. next turn. Have a reasonable shot to score. Interesting. I might have. Uh, I might have hit the one, the closer one, right? Like I know he's got wrestling. Mm. Wrestling's good for hitting the ball, but um, if you hit the closer one, it just gets gets you so much more stuff through, right, on that diagonal. It shreds the angle. Yeah. Yeah. He just runs so far. So many players up there that way. Yeah. Like he's he'd be controlling these squares instead mm. of like all of these squares. It just makes you got to run so far. But I guess he doesn't have to go very far in with the edge with like the edge forward. No. So he just has no. to get. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you can go. And I guess you're okay if you want to take that space. Maybe you can do some geophys or something at the end of the turn anyway. But interesting. But my instinct would have been to hit this one. But maybe that's correct. Do you do the pass this turn? Maybe you have to. Uh, I think you get the catcher off to the right, and then you do the pass, obviously. But how good's the thrower? Not Thrower's very. Getting off. Mm -hmm. Might be correct to do the pass this turn. I guess you already have scoring threats, so you do the pass now, rather than. Oh, he's not all. That. This is definitely incorrect. <laughs> that was definitely incorrect. If you're not going to do the pass. <laughs> Yeah, you get the scoring throw, you get the catcher up there first. Mm. But it might have been right to, you know, just have just have gone for the pass there. Now it's just a GFI to hand off. And technically you could give it to this blitzer, but he's he's almost certainly not going to, is he? I need some GFIs from Hancock here. Two for sure. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, they're still it? yeah. Shorts aren't so in our spawn, so they are still gonna put but at first, which is maybe why you did want to. Hmm. If you're not giving him the ball, then he can go here, right? Then he's got a square. Yeah. A, then he's got a square to the left. Yeah. A, yeah, he's got a bit more width to get something done. <laughs> is the GFI correct versus the pass? Yeah, it's just one. Well, well it, it's maybe it's not correct actually yeah. because it means you can burn the reroll on this and not on everything the catcher needs to do. The catcher also has a leap. So, yes. Oh yeah, the catcher has a leap. Oh yeah, I think I like the. I think I like the pass for sure. Yeah. It's actually pretty easy, this isn't it? Oh. He's strength five, so you need. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Maybe, Maybe that wonder. was wrong. Maybe you could have hit the. Uh, Maybe shore. you. Yeah. Maybe you could have hit the shore or something, or maybe like you could do like. If you just do a leave and do two twos, no, the one D has to be better. I believe, I believe you could have two D the chalf, but um, mm. I mean, we can't go back, can we? Oh, wait yeah. a minute, we can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Right. It's not like you're watching a replay. So uh, he can assist here, two D him. If you, if, yeah, so he can two D yeah. him, and then if he pals, he can get around here, and then blitz him. Mm -hmm. That's way better, then, isn't it? Then you come through on the two plus there, and then. In there then you and then can go and the, loop over. Then, yeah. yeah, that's that's actually way. And you better. can actually, um, you don't even have to do the leap. You can do the two plus. Yeah, yeah, you can do the two plus with the first dodges and have because the first dodges through tackle. No, you can yeah, do... through tackle, so you just leap, right? Yeah, you just leap. Yeah. So that would, that would have been the play. Yeah. Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah. Glorious replay of being able to check things. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And with the amount of dice afterwards, I think you do use the pass skill rather than go for the GFI. Yeah, I Even think though the so. GFI is a higher odds, just because you're conserving the reroll for the more the other hard stuff. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you'd have to you'd have to samba that to know the answer, but it yeah. does feel like passing it is pretty good. Because there's a good you chance. You have to samba or flow chart it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a good chance you use the you use the re, the use the rerolls on the other stuff. So I'd be, I'd be happy with passing it there. But, you know, still not bad for, for Kill Bill, right? Okay, his apples are gone. Mm -hmm. but And he's 1 0 down. But Hancock is capped at 11 with a Kaz and a send off. So, you know, got four rerolls for overtime. So he's got, he's got a, like, obviously, if Kill Bill is going to win this, it has to be in overtime now. So he's got more rerolls and he's got the wizard still. So, yeah, this isn't, this isn't going badly at all for. Kill Bill, despite the kind of horrendous, the semi horrendous dice. He's got a Dacker! He's got a human Dacker! Four! I guess it's like a rat Dacker, but a bit slower. 
with one cat with one gutter runner. <laughs> so, not the best, not the best Dakar ever, but kind of fair enough, right? Yeah, good reason. Oh wow, rerolls that. Oof. If you're gonna reroll that, I wonder if it's better to just uh, pick up with the uh, thrower, right? And again, pick up with the throw and hand off to the catcher. It's for the conserving of rerolls, yeah, yeah, maybe. And I did samba, and the pass using the pass skill is like three percent better than doing the GFI because getting the reroll for the other stuff is a bit, yeah. it's a bit more valuable. There you go. Thanks, squirrel. Maths equals instinct. <laughs> Glorious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's again, it's a, um, or not again, but it, it is an easy kind of decision to make incorrectly in the moment because you're not seeing, it's easy to get tunnel vision on each individual decision. Like, I want to make each of these as safe as possible rather than seeing the total string. Mm. Of decisions you need to make, making that the most likely. So I can I've... definitely see like you're, you're like I have to like, get the ball to the catcher, so I'll do that, and then I'll do the other stuff that's harder. And you're like, so what's the easier way? To... Well, I could do a three plus, or I could do a two plus with a reroll. So I'll do a two plus with a reroll, not thinking of the the string afterwards needing the dodge and all the yep. other stuff needing a reroll. Yep. And uh, if I was Hancock, I would definitely chase Jim. <laughs> see what I did. <laughs> um... It's interesting, right? Obviously, he's got 11 men, so actually, chasing. It's not as if chasing nets him. nets him Kaz, right? Chasing is not necessarily good for Hancock here. Mm -hmm. He's got armor 7s that he's exposing to keep tackle on the rank behind them. So. He might just stay here. He might just stay here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him just stay. Or, like, maybe, uh. <laughs> Maybe go forward a little bit, right? And then maybe go back if he gets tries to get pushed through. Yeah. So yeah, maybe, maybe just go a little bit forward on like the edge of the human breakthrough. That's it's also what um, to do. Hancock also has a has a lead, so he can just stop the score, and when he doesn't have to um, fight for attrition to make it so that on a tie he's advantage going to overtime, he can just nug and doty. So just playing a solid defense here is fine. Yeah, I'd, I'd go forward two squares. That's what I'd do. Uh, why exactly two squares, Jim? Because uh, that would mean these guys would be one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So they, they'd use their whole movement to hit you. Glorious. And then no, they'd use their whole movement in. to get in, so they would just be... I'm so yeah, I would go two and, and three. I will defend. But I mean, I, I will defend. Glorious. The legend, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Thank you, Goliath, and welcome back to Team Fantastic. Glorious Ducky, blood balling legend. All worship for our fouling. Mm. Or Bretonian play, praise Ducky. Yes, very good at fouling. <laughs> Pray to Ducky. <laughs> Ducky is real. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. PC misspelling Daka there for some reason. <laughs> That's probably the best way, PC, if you need to um if you don't need them to score, or you don't need to get attrition, and you don't, and you're just wanting to stop the score. If you need to, if you're playing for overtime, and they can take a draw into overtime. Maybe it's not the best, mm. but in the situation, it does seem to be the best option. Yeah. So they have to come forward. They can't just sit back, and it's also not the first half, so you have more information as well. So oh, let's look at that. Oh no! <laughs> and now he piles in where I wouldn't. That's funny, isn't it? I would have, I would have just come back to where he was and stayed where he was, basically. Now we're gonna isolate the Palmer. Yeah. Well, I guess he has. He can still do a proper full screen. He can, he can but back. he might also get like he might also give up a four assist foul on this. 
<laughs> Toma. Hiding the armor value seven because yeah, it it probably feels okay. like this is the turn that Kill Bill's gonna go in. Yeah. Well, they'll probably next turn, right? Can't really get in much this turn. This is the turn he starts moving forward. Next turn is when he starts trying to break the screen. Yeah. Good. Cool. Um, maybe, maybe there you go. Maybe that was a Mr. Foul bait that uh, Kill Bill has ignored. Mm -hmm. I. I'm not sure I would have ignored it. <laughs> I think I would have might have uh, been in for blitzing you, this guy. You know, um, he's he kind of out of the play though, right? Like he can only move one square next turn, then four the next turn. So he's a bit out of the play as well when we're coming through. So you don't need to foul him. True. Yeah. Look at that jump up a center, the jump up piling on synergy, which I have in the past. That is kind of overrated, actually being useful. Yeah, it's great. It's great for chores, right? Because the, the, the weakness yeah. for chores piling on is, like, you know, they can only move one square after they pile on. And it's like, mm -hmm. their move is really, really, really terrible. Um, yeah. So it's solving that, like, you know, not necessarily doing three plus jump up blocks, but uh, mm -hmm. just being moved seven the turn after they piled on is pretty great. Now we get to. Um playing basically normal defense with the offense is three squares behind the yeah, LOS from where they would normally be. Yeah. Not more they've than burned that. they've burned four turns for free. Yeah. Pretty nice. And now any breakthrough, there's more space in behind and there's less turns to stall it. Hmm. I wouldn't say that, Raven. At all. Like this is uh this is very dangerous for Hancock. Just take some dice for a uh, kill bill to crack, crack a hole. Like you know, a bit of a the mistake. The center pretty weak. Humans are fast. Humans mm. are a fast team. They can exploit speed, and there's quite a few holes where a single pal will crack this open. Yeah. The middle, really weak. That short in the middle, extremely weak. And look what he's got. Yeah, he's very, he's very exposed. So he gets the push there. And yeah, there we go. Left through the middle. He did leave. Uh, he, lived a, he left a gaping pool. Yeah. But he may still got that strength 5 break tackler. Strength 5 break tackle tackle. The other one's got break tackle, so you know. It's, the bulls are still. might be able to cover. Whatever happens. Like, do you just go in here as uh, Hancock? Oh, so that Kill Bill still has a wizard, so. Mm. He can chase Passive. him onto the ball. Indeed, he can. Yes, yeah. Hobgoblin here. Wait. Yeah, yeah you can chain the ball onto the ball. Oh, so bull to here, hobgoblin here, and then chain. No, he only needs one. Oh my god, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a moron. Right, never mind. So yeah, this one, and then there, and then chain him, and then he's got two D on the ball. Mm. But then he could block him. He could one. Can he get a guard in? One, two. Mm. Could block him, maybe he's pal him, then get the guard in there, and then 2D him, and then 3D him. So yeah, lots of options for hitting the ball. So this wasn't yeah. this wasn't the greatest break for Kill Bill, and a very scary turn for him. Oh, he couldn't block there. He had to move back to base him. Okay, so that, that was yeah. So he can't get 3D on the ball, but he might be able. To, oh, 2D, he he's not going to go for. He's not going for the 2D on the ball. Okay. He's not Probably a mistake to not go for 2D on the ball. It seems really good with his good recovery on the other side of the ball as well. Mm. Kind of no matter what the side steps. Definitely seems weaker than just getting, um, not even getting, even getting just a chorp on the ball seems weaker than the, yeah. Oh yeah, he would have been free after the, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that was, oh, oh yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, he had to. If he, if he, you know, if he didn't see the chain, he still had to dive. Yeah, like you know, I probably wouldn't have seen the chain based on based on my performance just now. But you know, maybe I wouldn't have been playing properly. But uh, like you know, playing myself and stuff like different in it. You're looking, you're looking to do that rather than just watching a game unfold. But um, yeah, he had to go for the had to go for the ball sack. Had to go for the ball sack that turn. Maybe. So I would say it was a misplay. Yeah. Score seems very likely now, especially with the wizard in pocket, so that in worst case scenario you can just two plus something off the ball and get in almost certainly. Yeah. You only need to have two in front of it, so it's not just a two plus to score, and there's no way he's getting even in front of it. So. Yeah, and exactly, yeah. Even if you're not going for that, and just two plus the ball back and right, just get the ball back. If this ball had just gone back nine squares, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, you know, this is not happening at all, is it? Even vaguely. Yeah. Um, I mean, Kill Bill has been pretty lucky with the removal, you know, not being pretty lucky in terms of not losing the game already. Like, he did get hammered the first half, he used both apples. Um, but... He's gotten a lot of stuns. Hancock has also not done a great job of maximizing blocks or choosing when to maximize blocks mm. to um, his fault, I think, a little bit. And he's. Yeah. Also, he. I think if he went back to the very first turn of the game, I think he left pressure on the ball a bit too easy. He had the. I think if the hobgoblin was two squares to the right, the one that was on the far left flank, I think you don't get the pressure on the ball. So the offensive drive is just a much more normal. I just hit your players for a couple of turns. Yeah, like obviously it ended up. It ended up great, right? Like it started as a yeah. scramble, but it ended up making two cars using both his apples and and uh, mm. running away. So it, it ended up fine in the end, of the first half, and obviously second yeah. half Dakar, so he couldn't get the pressure mm. on in the second half. Like that was that was kind of fair. Like I th and I think he was right not to try and pressure in the first half really. Yeah. So does Kill Bill stalk? Can Kill Bill, yes, Kill Bill surely can. Oh, it's hard though, isn't it? Oh, no, you just tag him, you tag him on the screen, right? You, you tag the ball and your screen. Yeah. It's, it's dangerous though, because you could easily make the 4 plus dodge off first. You could try a double screen. Yeah, I'm sure you can find a way to do double screen here with, um... You can have a player blitz himself free as well, the catch the thrower can maybe blitz himself free. No, no, no. No, no it's just gonna pom. Pom, 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 pom. <laughs> Pum, 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 pum. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. This is a... uh. Mm. Okay, so he gets the two dice free the thrower up. So you can kind of double screen now. Kind of. <laughs> and you I mean, do a dodge. Kind of, not the, at all, um... yeah. Well, you do a dodge to tag the uh, Boy Centaur, right? Okay, you, you do a dodge attack the bull centaur. <laughs> right. There you go. But still, still pretty easy though, right? It's not, it could have been way, way better than this. Like this guy could have been one down. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it this way, this guy wants to be one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I, I, I miss. I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it's he's got a triple dodge with a bull. Which is really bad. But probably had to triple dodge with a bull. <laughs> I guess Hancock just accepting overtime then. With yeah. those hits. He's gonna do a pile on here. You he should just go for a pile on here, yeah. Could have three dined it. Could have three D'd it. Could have three D'd it. Gotta make that a 3D. I mean, even though it's a Kaz, <laughs> you gotta make that a 3D. Unless there's something that Bull has to do with three GFIs. Yeah. I don't think there's anything it can do with three GFIs. Mm. So, there's not a foul to be done. Pop that one's active. So, yeah, that needs to be a 3D. Needs this off back, doesn't he, for uh, mm -hmm. all the time, 75%. That Pom left his, left his, you know, like, took, took him out of position, and it's left him down a player. 
is um, Hancock heading to overtime is going to get a one turn chance if he wants to go for it with full Centaurus, or is going to get a bunch of all the sets, so. Yeah. He still has a chance to get some removals here for free. Oh, toxic chill, boy. 10 out of 10. Yep. Running backwards always gives you extra points on Toxic Show Voting. <laughs> um, Kill Bill does have like three reserves though, right? He's got two, plus he's getting the other guy back eight times out of nine. So, what well, he's failed so far. So is Anchor. So like, the LOS is unlikely to be good from a bashing. Oh no, wait, how did he have two reserves? Oh, because then these got removed. Oh my god, sorry, I'm a moron. <laughs> so yeah, so the, actually the, the LOS bashing could be good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't bother trying the one turn. Which is why I didn't bother defending the one turn versus Chris's. <laughs> Chris, because it's, like, it's so unlikely, right? Be a movement up, full Centaur. Maybe you go for it. Especially against this, against this particular defense, of course, so if you have movement 7 or move 8 on your goal, they don't do this defense. So, mm. usually. The choke point was good in the end, Dimmy. <laughs> I just didn't know they could. I didn't know they could react with a move, okay? Didn't know. Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> well, that's probably good that you're not the DM then, Timmy. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Timmy, but um, GMs can actually just kill the players whenever they want. It's actually not very hard. So in that regard, there's not really a point to ever doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the times where there is a point to doing it, but you know. As a general rule, rocks can always just fall. And everyone dies. Yeah, like it's not it's not a versus game, is it? That's the thing. <laughs> because one one side has infinite resources <laughs> and decides what the game is. <laughs> so you know. Once I accept drag, uh, uh, it, the weather turned into a tsunami or a hurricane of red dragons. <laughs> <laughs> At least Dirtle was invisible. Yeah, that was that was helpful. <laughs> oh man. He he was lucky that I did something even more stupid. <laughs> To take the heat off him. <laughs> oh dear. Kill Bill looking in the game really quickly here. Yes, this is not Blood Bowl 3 um, overtime. It is Blood Bowl, oh my god. <laughs> it is Golden Goal. Oh wow. I don't know if you should echo that ever. So. No. Was it a miss next game or what was it? No, it was a it was a bad miss. So I don't think you ever. No, it's no. So obviously the plan was to blitz this guy and go there, which is why uh, mm -hmm. Hancock had both bulls that side because that was sort of the more obvious blitz target. But yeah. now with the uh, with the removal and the kick being over there and the ball, the you know the catch being there, I guess he's just going to take a bit slower. I haven't seen if humans get lucky with armor breaks like this since they won the World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no. Since Ungern won CCL with humans, right? Oh, I was just trying to see if I could get... If there were still people who, the minute, minute you mentioned that Ornan got lucky, uh, oh, they yeah. just showed how the would work. Oh, yeah, sorry. He's yeah, an incredible... Yeah. He just played really well. Yes. Yeah. 
Ornan's the best player ever because he won with humans yeah. and humans are rubbish. I mean, it's it doesn't matter that humans are the best team in that format. <laughs> humans are a rubbish team in CCL, so therefore it was super good that he won with a rubbish team. Uh, CCL, which is now the standard for what teams called you are, even though previously we would tell you that that's not important, only league play matters. Um, <laughs> that was a league play format, but in this case we use the CCL rules as a format to judge this on. Yeah. Um, I just want to see if I can get someone to write a letter about my new commentary. <laughs> and he did, yeah, he did. He played, he played, he played, he played fine, right? He didn't really play better than any, any other good player, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not hating on him, but like, he didn't like, you know, anything. oh wow, he really outplayed everyone, did he? Do you know what I mean? He just banged people out. Um, but like, he didn't play bad, obviously. But you know, it's really hard to play well, right? Like, most people who are good play well most games. And the only thing you notice is if like, they make mistakes or whatever, do you know what I mean? Or like, do something really cool. Um, but most of it is just like, playing good Blood Bowl. Which he did. <laughs> but he didn't do anything that made me think, oh wow, that's really amazing. You know, like not like uh not like that uh that chain push that uh Mankiz made that uh that got Dimmy really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Dimmy. Yeah, yeah. If you make 25 if he breaks every game, you're definitely going to be the best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, the best way to win Blood Bowl is to uh, move a player every turn. Yeah. And, you know, like, Ungern played well and and Ornan played well. Like, you know, not not saying that they didn't play well. It's just... Um, it's just... It's I, just... Uh, they all I think I see a Surf, Jim. I think I see a Surf. You see a Surf? Yeah, maybe it was just, like... A break tackle dodge or something. I know that maybe there's just a slight chain on a way to surf the guard player at the front of the cage. All oh, right, surf so the maybe, guard player. Mm. Yeah, and then put massive pressure at the point because you're down a player for no reason. One, two. I don't three, see a chip on the carry. The carry is six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, so he this bull could go go out, and then you could surf him, and then you've got strength five on the ball, and then you've got and one of the hobgoblin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's the play. I don't think he can kill his block as the play, though. Mm. I don't think that Bull Centaur ever takes that block. No, no he, uh, Hancock's been a bit too eager to block with his balls, I think. I think yeah. there's a few times where he would have been better off using the mobility. I don't think that does anything either. Of course, the mobility isn't that good without dodge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's fair. Honestly, it's kind of fair giving up here, right? Um, mm. And yeah, it goes for the it goes for the cage side, which is yeah. fine, honestly. Like, because yeah, if he gets in the way, you just bolt one and blitz the other, and yeah. you score anyway. So. So Kill Bill is going to advance onto uh, the round of sixteen, or whatever it was. <laughs> Quarterfinals, so I guess we're going backwards now. So the round of 32. This <laughs> is the round of 32 from the round of. 16, no, this is the round of 16, and now Kill Bill will be in the quarterfinals. Don't, 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 don't confuse it more, Squirrel. Okay. <laughs> round of 32. Got it. No. <laughs> Hello, Ansi. He's managed to keep Wizard for the next round. Yeah, it's always good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Can you imagine if that was the rule, though? If you you want to do something you didn't use, you could keep him for the next game. That would actually be kind of incredible. It'd be amazing. <laughs> you just overdog over a wizard for like three straight rounds. To the semi-files with three wizards to play. Oh my god, that'd be incredible. But look at this. Mr. Fantastic, I was disgusted to hear on your recent challenge cast that Mr. Squirrel seemed to think that humans winning the World Cup by Mr. Ornan was skill-based and not sheer dumb luck like any sensible human or squirrel, hands or not, would. Please see that Mr. Squirrel does not raise this again on stream. Yours sincerely, Chunter. <laughs> Written by my lawyer, Dr. Hellboy, Esquire. <laughs> See, that's the mistake was not hiring the preeminent Blood Bowl attorney, Yak, to also make it so you were running a gambling ring. 
Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> Shinch, really. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a bit, a bit of a shame for Hancock, right? He made loads of arm breaks over over the course of the game, just didn't get enough cars, right? That, that was the problem at yeah. the end of the day. You know, um, he sustained five cars uh, and only made three. And, uh, yep. Uh, yeah, he did a lot to us at showboating. But, you know, Kill Bill did play well, right? He took he, everything that was given to him, he took. I think he played... Played pretty great that game, honestly. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think he played pre pretty great Kill Bill, and I think I think Hancock, you know, may, may, maybe made a few small things over the course of the game that then added up, obviously, over the course of the game. Yep. So um, yeah, harsh. I do like Hancock a lot, but uh, you know, I'm not. So, yeah, congratulations I'm trying to be. To, uh, it's it's hard. Isn't it? It's hard when like you kind of know mm -hmm. people, and then to try and be objective. Do you know what I mean? But. Uh, yeah, I think it just a bit fell a bit short there. Glorious. So there you go. Commiserations no, to Hancock. Congratulations to Kill Bill. Thank you very much, Sparky. 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 Eight glorious months. Two Hubio pregnancies. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude. Glorious having you in the booth. Always a shame when Demi's favorite cock loses. <laughs> hey, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.